Um, oh, by the way, we've got those beautiful, beautiful calla lilies coming up. But I'm going to show you my phone for a minute. If you guys don't mind, I'll um, let's see if I can get it to. No, that's better this way. Um, can we come back for a quick second? Okay. This is what the rows are known for. And this all goes back to my hubby, who's an amazing gardener. But this, these are pictures. I'm going to flip through these a little bit. This is, we have a double door in the front of the house. And so this was actually taken last August. That was one of them. Then here's the other one on the other side. So literally we've got these two big elephant ear plants that are right there. Here's the one over by the garage and you can see the other plants that we have there. And I'm telling there's there it is in front of the double door. I mean, these things are so beautiful and so gorgeous and everybody knows our neighborhood uh, knows our house because of the elephant ears and this one is not even full grown because they get way taller than me and the leaves will get like literally can cover me from here to about here is how big the leaves can get for years, nobody at QVC brought elephant ears, and they are hard to find. But here's the thing you need to know. Roberta's brings them, and they don't just bring them because we're going to show you this is the size. This is a three-year-old bulb that's going to ship out to you that is really about the size of a coconut, and that's what you want because that's where you're gonna get these big green elephant ear leaves yet this year. All right, I'm just spouting off because I know these, but I'm telling you, this thing is heavy. It's like a bowling ball, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go back to the wall leads. We've got Derek with us. Derek, let's talk about the elephant ears. I was so excited that you guys brought the elephant ears this year. Yeah, oh, so are we. And I want to show you, you know, with what you're holding, yeah. people, if we've ever seen an elephant ear at a big box store or whatever, usually they're going to be a small potted plant. And what they planted was something this size, okay? Now, something that big is going to take two and a half to three years to become full size. Yeah. And we thought, we don't want to make anybody wait that long. If you were lucky and you ordered from a catalog, you might get a two-year-old, but we didn't want to do that either because we want in the very first season to give you something that's really going to look awesome, like in the photos you had at your house. So that's why we are sending out these three-year-old bulbs. And it does make a difference because this has all the growing power inside of it for three years yeah. that within 10 to 12 weeks, you're going to have a plant that's nearly full size. Now, what you have on the set is not full size yet. No, it's not. Give it a few more weeks and the leaves are gonna really stretch out and become big, Yeah. like you said. Um, but with, with any other kind of elephant ear, you're gonna have to wait a few years for it to get that big. Yeah. Whereas here, we're gonna start right out the gate like that. And these grow quickly, don't they? They we do. We like to say <laughs> almost an inch a day. Yeah. They really do that. And here's the thing, we won't, they won't be shipped out to you until it's time for you to plant. And they love the sun. So you need to, but they do love water. So like we just water ours every single day. You know, Mark's always like, let's just give them a little drink every day. What would you yep. recommend um, as far as the size of pots to pot them in? And, and where could we actually plant them in the ground um, in the, uh, you know, United States? states yes so uh, in terms of a container I, I would just start big and do something like a 10 or 15 gallon pot yeah. now that's not a pot you're gonna be able to move around very easily but if no. you put it on wheels ahead of time yes. you can get one of those movers then you can kind of or t you know have someone else help you move it if you want to put it somewhere else for a party or something like that yeah but in terms of watering they do love their water mm -hmm. and they drink it up real quick Mm -hmm. And um, if you live it where you don't have a freeze and it's pretty warm, like South California, South Florida, you could grow these outdoors in the ground year round. Yeah. But for the most of us, uh, we're going to keep it in a container or in the ground. And then in the winter or late fall, we're going to dig that bulb up and, and bring it indoors. What do you like to do with yours? Do you bring the whole pot in? 
Um, or do you actually, dig up the bulb? We actually just dig up the bulbs and bring them in. Mark mm -hmm. will cut it all back, and then yep. he'll dig up the bulbs and then put them in a paper bag and just put them in the garage for the winter. That's, and yes, then that's right. in the spring, he takes and puts them, because our pots, and he, I'm glad you mentioned about the wheels, because, you know, he just went and got a piece of wood that was cut in a big circle, about the size mm -hmm. of the bottom of the pot. Ours are about two feet across um, in the pots. But then he just, you know, drilled on a couple of wheels on the bottom, four wheels on the bottom, and that's how we move them back and forth and around. Yes. Um, so, but I'll tell you, people stop and go, what in the world is that? Totally. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the, the things that just makes it feel tropical no matter where you live. But yeah, anyway, I, yeah, go ahead. Well, it's one, it's one of the few plants I feel that really uh, transports your whole house into a new locale, somewhere exotic and beautiful and like a jungle. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to grow. I mean, aren't they easy? They're so easy. I mean, they really are. And, and I'll tell you what, you'll know when they're not getting enough water or it's just been too hot because it's like you could be coming home after work and they're just starting to kind of wilt and look a little... Yep. And then you go and water them, and 10 minutes later, they're like, hello. You know, I mean, it's That's like, right. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny because I feel like I can watch them kind of, you know, wilt a little bit and then come back to life so fast. Um, they but do. They are beautiful. Now, I want to quick ask you, because typically we just do these in those big pots. What could be around them, like flower-wise? Well, uh, you know, you they're so big that they're going to shade a lot yeah. directly around them. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things you could do, like begonias. Yeah. Or if you put them in the ground, you could have callas nearby. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to like them in containers just sort of on their own. And yeah. it is a centerpiece. It is a showpiece. Um, but if you want to plant, like here you can see, you know, we've got an agapanthus there and some ivy. Um, you really can get creative, but just realize that as it's growing, it's going to get pretty big and have a yeah. huge canopy like that. Just to let you know, more than 100 of these are gone because the bulb you get is yes. three years old. Mm -hmm. How many are left? Because I know we don't have a ton of these left. Yeah, less than 700, everybody. And believe me, if you have... You know, you want to put one or two on each side of your front door and one by the side door or back by the pool. You want to do one in every corner of the four corners of the pool. I mean, that is making it feel like it's tropical. I love, love, love the elephant ears. Um, in the meantime, we have some beautiful calla lilies. 10,000 sets have already been ordered and 